right, coming up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time. This is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this is the octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Miacic is 35, Cormier is 38. Miacic is five inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the challenger, Daniel D. for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place Ready right fight. now. Ready. I'm very excited. Good. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus. They are trading huge punches here. Takedown defense has held up thus far. Absolutely. How about that chin? Nice kick to the body. Effective use of the jab there. Welcome to the jungle. In on a double leg takedown here. And he's going to try to take the back. Inside control here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. 
Oh, look at that. He's got half guard. And back to the mount. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. He takes it back. He's got half guard. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Now he's got full guard. Beautiful punch. up here. And he gets reversed. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Big punch. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Big punch from the top. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's trying to pass here. A strong bottom work here, staying busy. Mancic gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. 30 seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds to go in round one. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, nice. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. The lovely Brittany Palmer getting the round one assignment. Here we are, early round two. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win. Whoa! Daniel's hurt. Strikes. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Nice leg kick. Take down attempt there. He's looking to take the back. Inside control. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Wow. And busy as he looks to improve position here. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way, clasp the two hands together. Straight and down technique. Oh. Perfect technique. He got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here.
And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. So how about it, there is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight, he submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just...